Hello my people welcome back to our channel this is Victory Voice TV hmm. please do join us here subscribe and like our videos now what we want to tell you that UK is so debased <laughs> their wickedness and uh, you know maltreatment against Nigerians in general have debased them blinded them and reduced them to nothing just because US condemned the criminal act of uh, you know electoral violence against the Igbos, against some ethnic tribes especially the Igbos. they just joined to say the same thing that u.s said ever since after that election this katrina lang you are seeing here has said of course there was nothing wrong in the election that was conducted in nigeria uh, they should embrace it they should congratulate the president-elect but as most ash ashamedly you know because u.s said yesterday that mc olomo and his likes they are they will be restricted in some things and nigeria should do something against them to, so as to stop such things this Catherine along this wicked woman that has kept Nigeria in confusion, in dark, and not even the kingdom. Because it's just, she's just saying what her wicked mind is unleashing for her. She said UK joins US to threaten anti-democratic politicians with visa ban. Who wants to go to UK? Who cares? The United Kingdom government has announced that politicians engaged in or incited electoral violence and other anti-democratic behaviors in Lagos, Rivers, Enugu State in March 18, governorship and state assembly election that were held across the country will likely get visa ban. <laughs> the British High Commissioner said this in a statement signed by Senior Communication and the Public Demo Diplomacy Officer Atinuke Akande on Wednesday, adding that it is collecting collecting relevant information to take action against such individual. This is coming barely 24 hours after the United States government threatened to take all available action against those who undermine the just concluded election in Nigeria. It read. We witnessed and received credible reports from other observers mission and uh, civil society organization of vote buying and uh, vote intimidation the destruction and hijacking of ele election materials and uh, general disruption of the process in numerous states including lagos enugu and river state we can confirm that we are collecting relevant information with a view to take action against some individuals the UK Minister of State for Development and Africa, Andrew Mitchell, said on February 21st that the UK is prepared to take action against those who engage in or incite electoral violence and other anti-democratic behaviors and actions in could include preventing people from obtaining uk visas and imposing sanctions under our human rights sanction regime the british high commissioner commended the independent national electoral commission for improved logistics during the governorship election particularly when compared to the presidential election three weeks ago more polling units opened on time there was greater evidence of beavers and IREV walking and results uploaded in real time from pooling units and coalition centers. These are positive, make positive markers to build on for future elections, the uh, commissioner said. However, the commission said members of its observer, observation mission observe violence and voter suppression in numerous voting locations on saturday condemning the harassment of journalists during the election the commission stressed that a free press is crucial for a healthy democracy and journalists must be able to go about their work without being threatened 
The statement continued, the UK is concerned by the use of inflammatory ethno-religious language by some public and the political uh, figures. We call on all leaders not just to stand themselves from this kind of language, but to prevent those who speak on their behalf from doing so in this way. We urge any party or individual who wish to challenge the process or outcome of the election to do so peacefully and through appropriate legal channels. We will be observing the cause of legal challenges made. The 2023 elections are not only important to Nigeria and Nigerians, but to Africa and the world as a whole. As a long-term partner, the UK is committed to strengthening the ties between our countries and people, including by supporting democratic de uh, development, the statement added. The British High Commission, however, held the commitment to democracy by many Nigerians despite being faced with intimidation and hostility. Okay, that's what they are blabbing at this point. Catherine Lang, that is coming far too late. It's because U.S. an international organization like you or nation like you, uh, they condemned it forehand and they meant what they said. You are just saying it for camouflage, for people to hear that you said. It's not as if it's coming from the mind of the U.K. government because they don't care about the development of Nigeria and uh, what is going on here. Well, my people, ever since I was following Mazin Abdekano or I started following Mazin Abdekano, I've learned a lot concerning the UK and they're just playing out their lifestyle like a card. It's just as if you are seeing what they will play and they will play it. You know, why are you deceiving the promises? You said you love Nigeria. But when Nigeria is on fire, you sit on cake, gunpowder, you are sitting on it and deceiving people so that they will stay there and they explode. Look at now, they have convicted uh, um, Ike Kuremado. They've convicted him that uh, he's doing human uh, organ trafficking. But look at electoral violence. They cannot even do anything. They cannot even you know, encourage any serious action against electoral violence they are still trying to wait until another country will say something yeah, they will now come and say something because u.s said it's shame on uk government shame on british high commissioner be what 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 are they even calling her do you know my people let's get wiser wiser by the day and we will know each card they want to play and how they want to play that's just what we have to do thank you and god bless you all